हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम विक्रम फ्रॉम ईजी ऑन टेक्नोलॉजीज वेलकम टू माई प्रोजेक्ट वर्क सीरीज इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो सेशन आई डिस्कस्ड अबाउट हाउ टू डेवलप ए बिजनेस लेयर इन द प्रोजेक्ट एंड वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड दैट पार्ट नाउ लेट्स हैव ए क्विक रिविजन अबाउट द आर्किटेक्चर सो दिस इज वॉट द पार्ट वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द डी एओ इट इज़ कम्प्लीटेड एंड वी हैव इम्प्लीमेंटेड सर्विसेज एंड दिस इज द कम्प्लीट पार्ट वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन नाउ इट्स टाइम टू मूव ऑन टू द वेब लेयर एंड दिस वेब लेयर इज नथिंग बट योर स्प्रिंग एम वी सी लेयर सो इनिशियली वेन समन स्टार्ट राइटिंग द प्रोजेक्ट दे वर्क इन दी डायरेक्ट इन दिस डायरेक्शन फ्रॉम ब्राउजर टू दी एम वी सी लेयर दैन डेटा बेस दैन सर्विस लाइक दिस बट एक्चुअली द राइट वे टू डेवलप द प्रोजेक्ट इज़ ए रिवर्स ऑर्डर सो वी प्रिपेयर द डेटा डेटा बेस इज दैन वी कम टू दी सर्विस डी एस दैन वी कम टू दी व्यू लेयर सो वी आर वर्किंग इन दिस इज दिस ऑर्डर फ्रॉम दिस डायरेक्शन राइट सो वी आर मूविंग इन दिस वे जस्ट अ मोमेंट we are working in this direction so this is the right way to develop the project right and it's time to work on the controller so in this particular video i'm going to design one layout and uh, that layout will be your index page and uh, in coming series we'll add on the form in that layout so let's talk about this controller and uh, layout also so go back to one small revision so layout is already planned in the wireframing series if you go back to my previous videos i discussed about the wireframe and let's have a look at the layout what kind of layout we are planning here so look at this in this layout we have one header part and after the header we have one menu and i'm going to add on here menus and this is your main content area this is the main page main area of your page and here you can add your forms reports so this will be your final area and after that at the end of this page we are going to add one small panel and this panel will be your footer panel so in this area you can write some copyright messages or some link to the author like this so this is what the layout we have already discussed in the wireframing series and let's develop this so just close all my previous programs and here i'm going to add one link in controller so this is the test controller we have added but this test controller cannot work so i'm going to develop one controller here so this is my controller let me call it this is user controller why user controller because the first page will be my login page and user is going to login that's why i'm going to use here login uh, user controller and this user controller will have provision for all the user related operations but initially i'm going to prepare one login form in this discussion so this is user controller you can make it a controller by using this annotation this is at the rate controller okay and now i'm going to add a method here public and this string string this string will be representing your view and uh, let me call it index page so this index page will be my login form so i will add the login form in next video but in this video i'm just going to display one welcome page and prepare the layout so this is my index jsp will be called index jsp this will be jsp page here and it is resolved by view resolver from web information slash this is prefix and view and then the page name so page name will be index and then suffix jsp so this is actually your page name and prefix and suffix will be resolved by view resolver so now you need to provide the mapping for this page so this is a mapping request mapping and you can call here this is a request mapping i'm going to write a url here let me call this url as index url so this will be your 
first page in fact you can map here multiple URLs just a moment so this is my first mapping for this method now let's have a look at the method do you have that method here uh, do you have that view here no so let me create a JSP view so this is index dot JSP right and this is my index page just check this one we have one index page here already in our website this is not required I'm going to remove the index page present in the web pages directly so this is not required because I want to keep my views inside the uh, web information area this is your internal resource this is your internal private area so I just want to keep my JSPs inside the web information view folder right so this is the page now uh, this is the comment you can keep the comments here and uh, let me show you this page can we access this page here so run this can we see this index page just a moment waiting for the tomcat just a moment please wait deploying the application look at the status bar deploying a spring contact application correct this is all fine still still loading just a moment okay it has started Google Chrome browser and uh, requesting to the first page look at this so we do not have default page available here but we have recently added one mapping index now can we see that page here no it is not working what is wrong here just go back and check it no mapping found for index what is wrong here we have added this mapping we have added the controller all fine just a moment probably my updates are not taken by this tool so just clean and build the project and redeploy this we have to re-execute this just a moment I have done clean and build my project will be recompiled and then we can run it building your project okay all test no problem okay build successful so the project is compiled here and now run this project again come to this now call the index page here okay I could say this page it is ready and now it's time to provide one more mapping for this because I'm just calling through the index I just want this page as my default page so do one thing provide one add one more mapping so this is the URL slash so it's a default mapping for this page so this time I can access this first page using the index or, or in fact I can call like this right so look at this now I added this index page as my default page and uh, initially without when we were not working in spring I used to add welcome pages in web XML file but here uh, no need to do any setting in web XML file like welcome page listing and all just do like this map your index method using multiple URLs this is supported by spring now it's time to prepare a layout as we have discussed in wireframe so let me call this page this page will be my index page and actually it is a login form it's a login user login page user login page for this application contact application and now let me remove this and I'm going to use here layout so I'm going to prepare this simple layout using 
table but probably you can go with some professional div and other uh, techniques to design the layouting in your applique website or you can use some uh, bootstrap kind of views here but I'm just going to use the simple layouting so just add a simple layout here using this make the border one okay now add here tr and inside that I'm going to add this td set the height of this td and the height will be around 100 pixel and this is the area let me call this area this is my this is my header page header and this will be my menu area I'm going to add here menu these are the comments and the height for this menu will be 25 pixel around okay and this area will be your footer area sorry this will be the content area and the height will be around 350 pixel okay this will be your page content area so I will be create adding here forms and after that I required a footer so footer will be small so just copy here and this will be my footer so let's refresh this page ok right so let me add here width so width will be width will be 80 percent and uh, percent and align will be center okay look at this so this is how the layout looks like this is the layout of the page so I can reduce the size for the header just a moment I can make it 80 80 pixel so this will this is my header and I have reduced here the size from both the side east and uh, east and west size west sides so this is the final size of the table and uh, I can add here uh, background images and all in next video so this is enough for the discussion and look at this uh, wireframe here let's compare with the wireframe so here we have added one screen uh, we have added here header menu and this content area and the footer are exactly same we have developed here this is header menu content and the footer side so everything is done in this video and uh, if you have any doubt regarding this discussion you can ask your query in comments and thank you very much for watching see you in next video